Hey there guys, Zach here from Minibeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile build 10549.4. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10536.1004. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy change is within the display area. So if you go into settings and jump into display here, you can see we now have a new slider. Now this is this essentially allows you to change your DPI display options. So by default, it's usually set to the highest or like around the mid area, depending on what device you have. But on a device like the Lumia 930, which this is, lowering this actual slider will enable you to actually enable more things on the display at one time. So if we actually cancel that, let's go back into the personalized area. I'm going to start. You'll see here it says show more tiles is already on and I have a total of three tiles. Now, if I enable the high, if I actually lower this slider here and apply it, it will ask me to restart my device, which I'm about to do. So give us a second. But once I restart the device, I should be able to enable more tiles on the start screen. So I can essentially treat my Lumia 930 like a phablet, even though it has a five inch display. So now we're back in the operating system, you'll notice that text is slightly smaller, but if we jump into settings here, you'll see also that the UI is now more, more things on the screen at one time, which is great. So if we jump into personalize here and go into start, you'll notice the show more tiles option is now off and I can enable it to enable a fourth column on my start screen. Now keep in mind, this is a five inch device. This is no, not a phablet. However, I am now using the phablet start screen, which is fantastic. Now, because I've lowered the DPI options, some extra UI, uh, extra UI functionality sometimes appears. Uh, so I need to actually lower it a bit more to actually show you, but this is the new Skype app, which was actually sent out as an update in the last build. So this isn't really new, but this app essentially allows you to text message and use Skype at the same time, which is pretty great. So actually, if we go back into settings and lower the DPI options a little bit more, apply that, let's restart again. Uh, I should be able to show you an, a few UI enhancements when the DPI is set to low. Uh, as obviously when the DPI is lower, you can get more content on screen at one time. So extra UI elements for the phablet devices begin to show. Okay, so now we're back. If we launch the messaging app and go into a conversation, you'll see on the left hand side here, we have a uh, easy access to other conversations. So I can just use my thumb here to jump between them without having to press the back button and actually coming back out to this UI. So yes, that's one of the many advantages of having uh, your DPI settings set to low or set to whatever it is on this device, which is, uh, I believe, uh, 225, let's find out. Yes, 225. Uh, so this option should be available for all devices. However, uh, the amount you can lower your DPI settings may depend on your device. As on the Lumia 930, I can lower it quite a fair bit from 300%, but on a device like the 435, I can only lower it about 25% and I can't enable a fourth column as it only has a four inch screen and a very low resolution, uh, you know, a very low resolution screen. So yes. Uh, so depending on your device, you might want to try that out. It's pretty great if it works for you. Um, as you can see, here now the start screen now the settings app all of the options are on screen and i can't I don't have to scroll now which is great it does make some apps a little bit weird so cortana for example actually cortana might work let's find out let's set up cortana come on cortana next now you agree yes zach i feel like i have to set up cortana every time and here we go so yes the card ui is kind of it doesn't take up all the full screen, but then again, that's because it doesn't need to now because the UI elements are so small, it's kind of just expanding to the size it needs. So you get this interesting side bit within the UI. But yeah, I think it's pretty uh, cool and I definitely like using it. I actually usually prefer using these DPI options at 250 on the Lumia 950, on the Lumia 930, sorry. So that's pretty great. Uh, other new changes are also in the settings app. We go down to update and security and for developers, you'll see here that there is a new web management and device discovery. I think the device discovery thing was always there, but the web management is new, I believe. Uh, this is all for developers, so I'm not gonna jump into it as I will probably get it all wrong. Um, let's go into the about options here so we can show you the build number. There is build 10.0.10549.4. This is quite an old build. There are a lot more recent builds with a number of more improvements. It's interesting why they've actually sent this build out. Either way, I think that was, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else new. No, I don't think so. 
Yeah, no, that doesn't appear to be anything else new. So uh, there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at Windows 10 build 10,549. Oh, uh, of course, there are performance enhancements as per usual, like swiping down from the notification center. Now happens straight away instead of like usually but in the last few builds it lagged a little bit if you have especially if you hadn't used it for a while but now it just comes down pretty much immediately also the lock screen uh lag is is still prominent as you can see there but uh it is get, it's getting better and by the time windows 10 mobile rtms i feel like that bug here might be non-existent either way guys thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one Bye bye